But I look at the social engineering and saying, we, you can keep your doctor. It cuts the price. Uh, it covers pre-existing conditions. None of it true. And the victims for six months thinking that they've signed up. I told you that most of them had signed up. It turns out it's all a fraud. I told you the website wouldn't work to make it about the website, not about the, the law. And to confuse the whole thing and to confound people in a, in a, in a squid's ink, in a, in a fog of war, in a, in a system to confound and confuse, waging war on reality. And now I've never seen anyone lie in a scientific way like this except North Korea. And folks, I'm seeing North Korean type statements all over TV that everyone loves it, everything is wonderful, everyone loves Obama, he gave us everything. And that we should just cry and beg and thank him all day. This is what Obama supporters look like at his rallies, crying and collapsing and swooning as they spiritually climb into Ted Bundy's yellow Volkswagen. It is so sickening to see this going on. And here is Obama saying it's too late. It's all over. Everyone must accept it. Everyone loves Obamacare. It's helping people see the shining sea. There's no way to repeal it. The debate is over because we could easily repeal it. It's incredibly unpopular, upwards of 80% or higher. It's totally criminal. It's totally unfair the way it's apportioned and when the way major corporations are exempt. It's a tax to foreign banks, but they're giving cover to the Republican leadership to not kill it and to go, everybody loves it. It's a giant confidence game. Here is Obama. But this law is doing what it's supposed to do. Destroy America. It's working. Breaking the country's back. Helping people from coast to coast. Go to part time. All of which makes the links to increase. which critics have gone to scare people. Oh, increase payroll tax. Undermine the law or try to repeal the law without offering any plausible alternatives oh, really? so hard to understand. You've offered total alternatives. I gotta admit, I don't get it. Why are folks working so hard for people not to have health insurance? Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. Why are they so mad about the idea of folks having health insurance? Many of the tall tales that have been told about this law have been debunked. All tales. There are still no death panels. No, you don't call them those. Oh, it's so funny. Armageddon has not arrived. All right. That's enough. And he goes on to talk about people claiming tyranny. We may go back to more of it. It's hard to listen to. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it raised the payroll tax. It is increasing the prices. It does set up these health boards that decide what type of care to give. And I have Bill Gates, and I played it earlier today. And we have uh, Zico Emanuel saying there's death panels. And we have uh, all the other pundits saying it. Bill Maher, it's in there. And he, got, he calls it tall tales. This, this is the guy telling us that he never said you could keep your doctor. Now, Nancy Pelosi is, doesn't want to be outdone by Obama. So she had this to say. Yesterday, she said, they're not going to campaign on it. Oh, no, they're going to move on now to open borders uh, and shutting down more of your jobs. Uh, of course, what does she care? I mean, you know, she's a total narcissistic megalomaniac parasite. We don't think we needed any vindication. We just had to protect it uh, from those uh, uh, ideological anti-government people who who didn't want to see it succeed for ideological or political or whatever their reasons are right. but the fact is oh the fact is let's hear the rest i'm sorry get something done for people so uh taking the heat on something like that well that's what we All right, do that's enough yes yeah, see it, it's targeted at totally dumbed down people we got to do something for the people does that mean throwing them into incinerators i mean it, it's it, we got to reform things you know if you Put a car in a giant car compactor, it's reformed. You could call that progress, but it's not. You call a dead body eaten up by cancer. Five minutes dead, you could call it progress. It's not. Anything could be progress. Progress of cancer. Anything could be reformed. They play these word games. You know,
this was the process in 50 years, getting government involved in healthcare and ruining the best healthcare in the world. Now people don't know how to get healthcare. It's way overpriced because the corporations are in there screwing everybody. And the same corporations that have screwed everybody wrote Obamacare. What is it, you idiot Democrats, do not get about that? Okay? And by the way, you moron Republicans, this is not socialism. Straight up socialism would be bad because it allows social engineering and the globalists are eugenicists. But socialism would be better than this plan. This is the greatest, most over-the-top, ridiculous screw job I could even think of. It, 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 it is over the top. And his response is, people are telling tall tales. Buddy, everybody who's got a room temperature IQ knows you're the front man telling tall tales. You and that, you and that scumbag, Joe Biden. You and that bobblehead con artist up there laughing and giggling all day like he's trying to trick a bunch of little kids. I'm not a little kid, and I see through your lies. I see you, and your soul is dead. And then when they start coming out with $5,000 fines, they just come out and say it's not true, even though the fines are now starting for small businesses with penalties and interest with the IRS. And so you'll have a year of penalty and interest now next year. And that's in the law. And they hired 17,000 agents to take your bank account. And they're going to do it. No judge, no jury. And if you try to hold up in your house when they take it, they'll send a SWAT team by and they will murder you. How's that sound? And let's say you start shooting at them. They'll burn your house down. How's that? Of course, you know, we got to be nice to the poor, though. We got to take money from people, you know, to give folks free health care, especially all the immigrants. Because you're racist if you don't do that. But then when an old lady, I don't care if she's Hispanic, black, white, Asian, you know, doesn't pay all her property taxes and income taxes, they're going to come take her house. They're going to throw her on the street. Or she can go get on welfare, right? Right where they want you, dependent on their system. I want to get your take on the dehumanization, the war on humanity, all of it. And also on some of the positive things that are happening. A lot of good things are happening. People are waking up. Congress has a 6% approval rating. Uh, that's just unheard of. I think, I think the devil has a higher approval rating than that. The point is, is that a lot of good things are happening. I want to hear about some of the positive things you think are happening as well and where you think humanity's going and how we turn this around. 800-259-9231. We're doing first-time callers again. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. And then we're going to get into uh, the latest on NSA. Huge issues with Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia declares all atheists are terrorists in new law to crack down on political dissidents. They also you know, say women driving is terrorism. You will not hear one feminist group in the West criticize it because that's not kosher to criticize. A man having a short haircut and holding his wife's hand or opening a door for a woman, that's the big, or saying the word bossy, that's the big problem is men. And women, don't worry, you're going to be empowered. Just break up with your husband, take the kids, Go out and have a good time. Let your kids have a good time. Get them on drugs. Four times more likely to end up in prison. Great job. You party, baby. You're going to have a good time now. That's the new system. And look what it's doing to society. We're flatlining. And the men are a bunch of arrested development idiots as well. You like the curses of the new world order? Don't worry. They get better. By the way, we are funded by you. Uh, not like NPR with taxpayer money or MSNBC with stimulus money. We're funded by you supporting us and spreading the word and supporting our sponsors and buying the great products. The Molon Labe men and women's t-shirts made in America at maiden1776.com or just infowarsstore.com will get you there. Uh, and getting all the great uh, health products that we have at infowarslife.com. The Lung Shield, it's just simply amazing. I think it's one of my favorite products. The Survival Shield, Proprietary Nation Iodine. The Double Strength, 30 parts per million Silver Bullet. The Super Metal Vitality, that's just off the chart. The Fluoride Shield, and we've got some big discounts up there. And your purchase makes the broadcast possible. Infowarslife.com, 50% off. We're still running that special on Super Male Vitality, which just, just try it. All we get is rave reviews, folks. It's just natural herbs that block the estrogen mimickers and allow your body to produce the testosterone and things. It doesn't, it does, it's, not a, it's not a fake testosterone like most of the products out there that actually work. They just have side effects. This just gets your glands going naturally, and it's just it's simply incredible. I mean, I still look like hell 
but I look a lot better than I used to on it. And, that, and it helps fund the operation. So Super Mel Vitality, InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. We'll be right back with the second hour. Strap yourselves in. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network.